part of the things that I'm learning in my business class is about operations and how things work and things like that and business planning, business strategy. And one thing that we talk about in the, cl in the class is that every single business in order to be successful, they have to have a vision and they have to have a mission. And their vision and mission have to go hand in hand because your vision and your mission affects your internal organization and your external organization. And every time we talk about business and the way that our uh, my professor describes it, I can't help but think about the church because the church operates many in, in, in many similar ways. We have an internal organization, which is here, the church, and we have an ex external organization, which is the community, which is the people at large, which is the people that we are reaching out to. And in order for us to be successful in operating in our internal and external organization, we have to have a vision and mission. And I want to let you guys know that you are a part of a church that has an amazing vision and mission. Amen? Because we are a mega church. We know that our vision is to know Jesus and make him known. And our mission is to win souls and make disciples. And we have a plan and we have a purpose. And our plan is to have home groups, is that we are going to make our vision and mission known through our home groups. We are a home group church because we are a mega church and we are going to grow in a mega, mega way. In every way, whether when it's through salvation, through healings, through deliverances. And so um, with that being said, I want to, um, I want to share with you a scripture, you know, but I want to say something really fast, you know, in a business, when we have a business, we go to work Monday through Friday from nine to five and we work. And by the end of the day, we're tired. We don't want to do it anymore. And when the weekend comes, we are done with work and it's over. But I want to read you a scripture really quickly, uh, that will relate to this. It's Mark chapter three in verse one. Jesus went into the synagogue again and noticed a man with a deformed hand. Since it was the Sabbath, Jesus' enemies watched him closely. If he healed the man's hand, they planned to accuse him of working on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the deformed hand, come and stand in front of everyone. Then he turned to his critics and asked, does the law permit good deeds on the Sabbath or is it a day for doing evil? Is this a day to save a life or destroy it? But they wouldn't answer him. He looked around and he looked around at them angrily and was deeply saddened by their hard hearts. Then he said to the man, "Hold out your hand." So the man held out his hand, and it was restored. And I want to point out something important here within the scripture. What the Pharisees called work, Jesus called doing good. And there is a big, huge difference because like I said, we go to work Monday through Friday, nine to five, and there is a cutoff and it makes us tired. But Jesus posed the question, are we here to save a life or destroy it? What you call work, I call doing good. So we may have jobs and, and that is the business side of everything, but we're a church, which is more than just a business. There may be some similarities, but there's something that goes beyond. We must constantly have it in our hearts to do good because when we do good, that is when we see change. That is when we see people's lives being affected for the glory of God. What the Pharisees call doing work, Jesus calls doing good. And when you're walking with the Holy Spirit, there is nothing like doing work. It is only doing good. And that is something that you will never tire of doing. When we do good deeds, we will never grow weary. When we work, we will grow weary. But when we do good, you will never grow weary because God will always give you the grace to do good for his kingdom. Can somebody say amen? So our vision and our mission is to make Jesus known. It is to do good. And the way that we are going to do good within our internal and external organization, within the church and within our community, is to do good. We have our home groups. We have our Wednesday services, our Sunday services. Even Friday night prayer is a great time to bring people. If we're going to see this vision being played out, if we're going to see this vision being successful, we need to put it in our hearts that we are not doing the work work only of God. We are doing good. And we know that God is good. And if God is good, then he is faithful 
to meet us at the point of our need, to give us the grace to never grow tired and never grow weary of doing good for God. So I want us to begin to see our home groups, to see evangelism, to see charity work as doing good because you will never grow tired of doing such a thing. Amen? Amen. So um, with that uh, being said, I encourage you guys to go to your home groups tonight. We have a lot of home groups, so if you are not connected to one yet, if you're new in this place, please just meet any of our leaders, any person in our church, get connected with them. We will get you connected into a home group where you can learn and grow and succeed and where you can get to know more about the Holy Spirit and, can, and get connected to this vision where you can do the same because we know that our vision will truly multiply by the grace of God. Amen.